Uh, Ruth, FTSE Russell joining MSCI in removing quote unquote uninvestable Russia from key equity indices. Why have they done this and uh, are more set to follow here? Yes, absolutely. And that's the key question. Are others set to follow? Uh, yes, FTSE Russell did join MSCI in uh, removing uh, uninvestable Russian equities from various benchmarks. And it's just the latest blow. I think we're waking up to fresh blows every single day to Russian assets. Now, just to put this into perspective, in terms of capital, the move by MSCI alone could see about $32 billion affected in outflows. But the catch is, can you actually sell those equities in the first place? Investors are finding it very difficult right now with all the capital controls in place put by Moscow. So it's a lose-lose situation for a lot of people with money tied up in these markets right now. Exactly the key question, where do you find the buyers? Ruth, how are market participants responding to this? Were they prepared? Market players have been bracing for this for a while. I spoke to a fund manager this morning who um, said that he has been trying to offload Russian stocks all of last week, for example. And even then, it was virtually impossible to find market makers or find any buyers willing to take on those securities. And it's just getting worse by the day. It comes down to a lot of the capital controls put in place uh, in Moscow, but there is definitely a sense of growing frustration and investors having to just sit by and watch um, their values of their investments eroded. Tell me something here, actually, Ruth. You know, where do Russian assets go from here? I mean, these index providers, could they target some of the other assets as well to exclude? Absolutely. Um, investors are turning their eyes to bonds next. Uh, we've seen the moves by MSCI and FTSE Russell on stocks. So the natural uh, question uh, that is being uh, asked around right now is could bonds in DB next? So JP Morgan, for example, is reviewing some of its Russian debt on its very closely watched um, bond indices. FTSE Russell said that it's continuing to evaluate uh, re recent sanctions on Russian debt. Um, Russia did pay a coupon, for example, on its ruble bonds on Wednesday. But again, it's not clear how foreign investors will be even able to tap this cash because of all the capital controls and the central bank banning transactions, uh, transfers, I should say, to foreign investors. So all eyes on this space, a lot of frustrated people in markets right now and also nervous investors.